Hi, this is Brian Klee with Anantech. What I've got here is the BlackBerry Torch, the Droid 2, and the iPhone 4. Uh, and I've completely cleared the caches, the history, and all the cookies. Uh, and they're connected to the same 802.11n wireless network. Um, so what we're going to do here is show how fast they load the Anantech homepage. And then just show general res responsiveness. So here we go. So you can see the Droid 2 finishes first, followed by the iPhone 4. Now the BlackBerry has to wait for compressed web page data and all the images to come back over the BIS connection, even though we're on Wi-Fi. So the BlackBerry is, is slower at loading pages over Wi-Fi primarily because it has to wait for data to come down over BIS, but what about 2G connections? So when you're out uh, in the boonies, let's say, and you just don't have 3G connectivity. So what I've done here is I've put the uh, Droid 2 on 1X, uh, since that's on Verizon, and I put the iPhone 4 and BlackBerry both on Edge. Um, so obviously it's not an apples-to-apples -apples comparison, but it gives you an idea for the order of magnitude uh, that, you know, that compressed architecture gives you. So let's see. Oh, and I've obviously cleared the, uh, the cache on all three of these, too, so... So you can see both of them, iPhone 4 and the BlackBerry brought data up on Edge so far. Still loading. So the Blackberry Torch finishes. It's totally done. That's kind of what the compression back end does gain you. Of course you can you can pick it out in images, the fact that things are compressed. So the iPhone 4 just finished. And we're still loading over Verizon 1X RTT. And it's done. So that, that gives you an idea, you know, that Sometimes the compression does help. Uh, you pay for it when you're connected to 3G and Wi-Fi and everything is faster and you don't really need that compression anymore. But on slower 2G links it does come in handy. So now that we've got all three phones with the Anantech homepage loaded, uh, let's do a comparison of how fast scrolling is. So you can kind of see really the BlackBerry Torch isn't that bad. It's pretty much right up there with the Droid 2 which is of course running Android 2.2 in terms of both of them are kind of just a little bit choppy maybe the Blackberry Torch is a little bit more and then if you use the trackpad I'd say it's a little bit smoother than using the touchscreen and back here say the iPhone and the Droid 2 are pretty competitive so I mean it's not it's not that bad let's see pinch to zoom still a little bit choppy on Android. If you come over here to the BlackBerry Torch it's misinterpreting me there, but it's you know, on the whole when you're using it, it's not that bad. Then of course Zoom you can see it takes a little bit of time for it to reflow and render that text. See if we can get that same block of text over here. It takes a little bit of time for it to show up too. Then over here. So I mean, ultimately it's really hard to beat how fluid the iPhone is and then how fast 2.2 loads now. 
but that's not to say that browsing on here is unbearable. So I, I think it's quite good compared to the old browser.